what's going on everybody got another video here for you all right so we've got this little system of equations to solve it says given uh, x plus y equals 10 and x squared plus y squared equals 58 they want us to find x times y so let's go ahead and do this what I'm gonna do oops, I am going to uh, I'm going to solve this two different ways. Let's see which way you like the best. All right. So, first thing we have x plus y equals ten. So I think what I'm going to do here is I am going to let's see. Uh, let's go down on the thickness a little bit. All right. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to take the x plus y equals ten. And I'm going to solve that for y. Let's go a little bit thicker. I'm using a different laptop, so i got to get everything right. All right, so we solved this first equation here for y. And so now what we can do is we can take this, this 10 minus x, and plug it in for y okay all right so that is going to give us x squared plus y squared but in the place of y I'm going to put 10 minus x so that's 10 minus x squared and that equals 58 and so now what I have to do is I have to multiply this out so I get x squared plus. Now, remember, let's come over here to the side. And remember that 10, uh, let's use a different color. Remember, 10 minus x squared is the same thing as 10 minus x times, times 10 minus x and we're going to fold this out so that's going to be 10 times 10 is 100 and then I've got minus 10x plus minus 10x is minus 20x and then negative x times negative x is x squared and so that's going to be plus 100 minus 20x plus x squared equals 58 and so that's going to give me 2x squared minus 20x plus 100 equals 58 so I just added the x squared and I just wrote everything in descending powers and so what we're going to do now is we're going to subtract 58 to both sides and that's going to give us 2x squared minus 20x and then we've got 100 minus 58 that's going to give us plus 42 equals zero and so now I need to factor this and when I factor this the first thing I can do is I can divide everything by 2 and that will leave me with x squared minus 10x plus 21 equals zero and then we factor so x minus 7 times x minus, whoop, x minus 3. So x minus 7 equals 0, or x minus 3 equals 0. And so that's going to give us x equals 7, or x equals 3. All right, so let's look at x equals 7. So when x equals 7, we plug the 7 into here, and that's going to give us y equals 10 minus 7, which equals 3. And if x equals 3, that's going to give me y equals 10 minus 3, which equals 7. All right, so, so now x is 7, y is 3, or x is 3, y is 7. Well, we got x times y is 7 times 
3, which equals 21. And there's your answer. Okay, so that's that's one way to do it. Let's let's look at it uh, another way. Let's look at a different solution. This one, this next solution's quicker. So watch both of them. Let me erase this. I'll pause the video while I do it, and then we'll come back. All right. So let's look at the second way we can solve this thing. Let me see if I can. Yeah, I can change colors here. Let's uh, let's see how this shows up. Let's look at the part x squared plus y squared, and let's see if we can rewrite this in a different way. We could actually rewrite this. Okay, so I'm I'm just going to go ahead and write it down, and then I'll explain how we get it. This is x plus y squared minus 2xy. Okay? Now, you might be thinking, well, where in the world did he get that? Well, let's look at it. We can see that x plus y squared is equal to x plus y times x plus y. And if we foil that, that's going to give us x squared, x times x. And then we've got xy plus xy is 2xy, and then y times y is y squared. And so what I did, so remember, this is the same thing as that. And so what I did then, I said, okay, well, let's just subtract out a 2xy. And so, see, when you cancel those out, you're left with just x squared plus y squared. Okay, so this is the same thing as x squared plus y squared. Now, you might be thinking, well, why did you do that? Well, look at this now. Let's change colors back. All right, <clears throat> so look at this. I've got x plus y squared minus 2xy. So let's, <clears throat> let's just, let's do this. What is x squared plus y squared? Well, x squared plus y squared is 58. Now, look in here. Look at this part, this x plus y. What does x plus y equal? Well, x plus y is equal to 10. So that's going to be equal to 10 squared, right? We're, we're plugging the 10 in for x plus y for just this part, and then it's squared, and then I've got minus 2xy. And so this is going to give me 58 equals 100 minus 2xy, and I'm going to move the 2xy to the left. I'm going to add 2xy to both sides, and so that gives me 2xy plus 58 equals 100 and then I'm going to subtract 58 to both sides, and that gives me 2xy equals 42. And then we're going to divide both sides by 2, and that gives me x times y is equal to 21. And there's your answer. <clears throat> All right, so <clears throat> two different ways to work it. I hope you en enjoyed that. Hope you learned something. Hope you thought it was interesting. So give me a like, share, subscribe, comment, and I will see y'all in the next one later.